Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the problem that occurs when you have a game where the control tips for your gamepad are wrong on screen. So for example here, it says A focus time there, this is Sniper Elite V2 Remastered, but it's not, it's um, R1 up here. And in fact a really funny example is if I go into the pause menu, you can see that it's got a select and A for back as well. And it's like, well, well, clearly this is wrong. So we need to change the controller setup. And you can do that in game or we can do it outside of the game. So let's do it in the game first. So in this particular game, I go into options, I go into controls. And it's if we go down to controller layout, it immediately kicks us into the controller settings. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go to the top. And we want to get away from the official layout because you may see official layout and think, oh, that must work. But often these layouts were done for the Steam controller a few years ago, especially for older games, which was a completely different controller setup than the Steam Deck. So we click on that and we want to go to templates and you want to go to game, game pad with joystick trackpad and you press A to select it and then remember to press X to apply that layout and then when we go back in now what we should see is when I aim down sights you see there we go it says RB focus time which is what it is it's that one right button there we go and then when I go into the pause menu you can see we've got A select and B back now I know they're the kind of Xbox colors aren't they but it, it's the right letters for the right um for the right buttons in fact one of the upgrades i think i would do to my steam deck would be to change the buttons so they're the same as the xbox ones you know those ones so you can see them better also i think i would change the color of that button there actually and the steam buttons so i think they don't show up as much do they okay so what so that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it is if you press the steam button here you can go into controller settings i'm already there and then you've got controller settings there, so you could tap it or go into it. And again, this is another one where we could, again, we could go into here. And the one you're looking for, generally, this works for most games, is gameplay with joystick trackpad. In effect, I think what it's doing, it's saying, look, the, the Steam controller set uh, gamepad uh, bits that attach to your Steam Deck, they're actually an Xbox controller. Because basically, it's, it's all the same, isn't it, apart from the buttons on the back. So you select, you would select that. Um, and then you remember just to press X to apply the layout and uh, that would then be in the game and you've now solved the problem. Now the other thing you may want to do, and I'll add this on as a bonus tip, that's copyright wo wo wobo. For example in this case in Sniper Elite, for some reason in, um, the ADS is on the top uh, left shoulder button which is kind of the wrong way, and the soft aim is on the trigger. So I want to change that. So if I want to customize this loadout, what we can do is we can press Steam, and then we will be in the controller settings. And we go into controller settings, and we go to edit layout, like that. And then we want to change the trigger. So I go to L, go to the triggers, left trigger. So on a soft pull for the left trigger, I want it to scope in. So I say left trigger, oh, left trigger is, so left trigger should be a left bumper. So that's that setting. And then we come out of there and then we go to buttons. And then I want the L1 left bumper to be left trigger. All right, so that should now work. So what should happen now in game, there we go. So when I press the right trigger now, we ADS and I press the bumper, it just does the soft aim. And you can muck, muck around with stuff. Remember, if you get stuck and you mess it up, just go into the controller settings again. And you see where it says gamepad with joystick trackpad scale speeder at the top. That means I've changed it. But if I were just to go into here and then just go back to the template and then go back and load that template gamepad with joystick trackpad again, that would kind of reset it to default and uh, would be good to go. So there we go. That's how you can change the on-screen tips to be what they should be so that you press the right buttons um, and hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.